defense of capital or attack on capital. So why was he so angry when the capital was attacked? I think Russell Moore is a Christian nationalist. Uh, so that makes me think back to January the 6th and, and the fact that some of those people uh, raiding uh, the Capitol building said they were, doing, they were answering the call of God. Uh, what do you make of that? How should we re be responding to that? Well, I, I think I was as angry as I've ever been when I watched uh, the insurrection against uh, our country, our, our Capitol building. Now, when he was angry, when he was angered, uh, when he saw the insurrection against our country, against our capital, was he answering the call of God? The people who, who uh, intruded into the capital, according to this interviewer, thought they were answering the call of God. When he responded with anger at what happened, was he answering the call of God? Well, it's evident by his, uh, this interview that he, he thought that what he was doing was, um, he, he thought he, he was doing something as a diligent Christian. So why can't the people who protest be doing the same thing? With some signs uh, using Christian uh, symbols and Christian language, uh, Jesus saves and, and so forth. Or they might be interviewed by the Washington Post with Christian books behind them. I think that's Calvin's in Institutes right there. Which is, of course, completely contrary uh, to the, the message of Scripture, to the message of the gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, this was violent and, and evil. And one of the things that's, that's necessary is for evangelical Christian people who believe, as, as I do, that the gospel is good news, uh, that, uh, that a person can be born again and can experience the grace of God, is to reclaim uh, that good news from those who would seek to, to use it. And that's not only the case in the United States. Uh, we can see across Europe, uh, for instance, uh, groups that are taking Christian imagery of, of crosses or or Christianity as Western civilization and defining the two as, as the same and seeking to use that. And, and that's always been a temptation because if any group or power can claim uh, God uh, or, or claim the authority of Jesus Christ, then that authority can be seen as, as unquestionable. If Western civilization has nothing to do with the Christian gospel or, or the influence of the gospel throughout the course of history, then why is Russell Moore so upset when people attack it? Why is it not a matter of indifference to him whether Western civilization is attacked or defended? He's defending the capital, he's defending the status quo, and he's defending it in the name of Jesus. But his opponents don't get to appeal to anything uh, you know, it's idolatry if they appeal to their faith as a, as a basis for their motivation. Uh, but as Christians, we have to be the people who understand that uh, God has revealed himself in Scripture and does not allow himself to be made into a means to an end. Uh, does not allow himself to be made into a means to an end to overrun the capital uh, for the sake of red-pilled red staters and does not allow himself to be co-opted to defend the capital. Right? For, for any purpose. For any purpose. Defense of capital or attack on capital. So why was he so angry when the capital was attacked? I think Russell Moore is a Christian nationalist. So I know that you have said you've, you've been targeted by some extremists. How big a threat is this kind of Christian nationalism you're talking about now? Well, I think that there is a, a global threat of uh, sometimes violent groups that will take on Christian imagery. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a, a much bigger threat to the impulse behind it, uh, which is to, to find Christianity or some other religion as something useful. Useful for defending the capital. Useful for defending the nation. Come on, don't you see what you're doing? <laughs> uh, in order to mobilize people. He's not trying to mobilize people. He's, he's, conducting an, he's being interviewed by the Washington Post because he doesn't care about mobilizing people. Give me a break. Uh, or, or to carry out certain ideologies. And I think <laughs> that's dangerous in two ways. It's dangerous uh, to, to all of us as, as citizens and as, as... As citizens of a nation. Let's not bring theology in to defend a nation because that would make us Christian nationalists like Russell Moore. People and his neighbors, uh, but it also is dangerous to the witness of the Christian church. 
um, Jesus just does not allow himself uh, to be joined together with any idol. And so we have to be very clear about what... Like the capital. To ...what the gospel is and what the gospel is not. Because I see uh, a reaction to all of this, uh, often of a kind of cynicism. If people believe that what they're hearing uh, in, in these sorts of movements is coming from Jesus himself, then uh, they're, they're disillusioned. Now, if, if people are disillusioned with Christ or with the gospel because they don't want to follow Christ, that's sad, but it's not surprising. But when people hear uh, what they believe is coming out of the mouth of Jesus, uh, violent or uh, ethnic idolatries or a political power, uh, then that's a, that's a message of misrepresenting Christ himself. Political power. So the whole thing showdown at the Capitol was not between those who didn't want uh, political power and those who did. It was two sides, both wanting political power, both of them, both sides. So one side wanted to maintain it, uh, steady as she goes. The other side wanted to change the direction that that political power went. And Russell Moore is defending political power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 